Hi everybody and welcome back to Wilson the scientist who eventually gets to grow a magnificent beard in Don't Starve. Yay! I hope everyone had an awesome new year um, and spent it getting very drunk or whatever you however you choose to celebrate it. Um, I actually wasn't that drunk, I had to go back home and look after my cats, so I actually wasn't out for very long, but yeah, here we are. Um, welcome back to Don't Starve, um, I realise how much I enjoy this game, because I was gagging to get back to it, so um, let's just wait, so at the moment we're just looking for stone and gold in order to create our base, and I think we decided that we quite like our base over here because that is where all the beefalo are and lots of rabbits so that would help us out in winter so hopefully we can go back to doing that once it gets to daytime i reckon we will jump down one of these wormholes and see what's over there because we're really not having much luck with stone i'm just gonna eat something um and we really need that to get the game going, really. So, I am think I'm going to go to this one and see where it takes me. But obviously, I don't want to... Have you ever been to that place with all the stone where the wolves are? That's what I'm very scared of as well. And I'm very conscious that wolves will be coming in a good few days now. Um, and I haven't got anything prepared because I can't find any stone. Usually by now I would have found stone. I would have well, built a base. I would have built a science machine. I would have built my spear. I would have built my... um, What's it called? The wooden thing to shield yourself. Armour. My wooden armour. But I haven't. Uh, kind of panicking a bit. Right. So we're just going to go straight to it. And I'm going to go down this wormhole and see where it takes me. I've got to say this is... Okay, I was about to say, this is like the first one where I haven't found stone yet. So it's really weird for me to be this kind of stuck. But hopefully, the, oh god, no, this was literally the worst place to end up. But let's quickly get out of here. Yeah, I usually find stone by now. I would have usually... Um, done pretty well but for some reason it's not my game but hopefully this will be a longer series um if i don't get killed by all of these tentacles and hopefully all the um zombie pigs that live in these houses won't come out and attack me um but i guess it's good to explore i don't know what else will be around here um there's lots of okay good we have found grass that's a very good sign um hopefully there will be some rocks around here because I'm very keen to get my base up and running, get some farms going, set my traps. I really need to set my traps um, because I need to free up some space. I mean, okay, this isn't a place where you get lots of rocks, but hey, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go do it because these are the first sets of rocks I've pretty much seen. And once I get twelve rocks, I can go and set up a campfire, a permanent campfire, rather than just a um, one that doesn't last very long. At least with the permanent campfire, it will appear on the map, so I'll know how to get back home. So I have 12 now, which is great. That means I can make that, but oh, I really want a science machine because I want a backpack, because as you can see, I have no space left. Um, rabbits, good. I mean, I'm not having too much luck with food either. I mean, I have 13 carrots, which is awesome. But I haven't got much else. And it doesn't look like there's a lot around here apart from swamp, really. I'm really just wondering where. I mean, it's good where there's lots of stone here, which is really, really good. But I'm really egging for the gold right now but at least we can build the permanent campfire always a good sign lots of trees oh goodness me 
this might be a short series guys i'm probably gonna die very soon i'm just gonna follow this path the way i see it you follow a path the path will always lead you to something good hopefully um but i hope i managed to finish this series well finish this episode i haven't actually done something because i'm feeling like i'm really letting you down at the moment oh i really don't want to go back into the swamp but it looks like that just kind of leads back up to there which i guess is okay um i'm you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna follow the path <gasps> okay and look um okay you know what i'm not gonna follow it down there i'm gonna go up here because this looks a bit more promising oh Oh, right, you know what? I'm gonna wait for this pig to kill these, and then I'm gonna take their meat. I'm gonna drop these. <gasps> no! <laughs> God's sake! Oh, pig dropped the best meat and they just ate it. Oh, can this game get any worse? Okay, where am I going? I'm gonna go up here. Hopefully something good will happen. I feel like crying right now. I can't find any rocks. And I'm back to the beefalo, which is great. I'm going to pick up the poo, because why not? Um, but this is where I'm going <gasps> to... I'm not going to pick that up yet. These are mandrakes, which are really, really amazing. Um, if you're in a really bad spot where your sanity is low, your health is low, your hunger is low and you feel like you might die, go find a mandrake and cook it and they will save your life. Legit. It's so good. I love them. So I'm going to save that for a rainy day. Um, let's carry on up here. I know it will be dark soon. Okay, do I have enough for a fire? Yeah, maybe I should build my camp. But first I'm going to follow this path and see if it leads me to rocks which it probably won't because knowing my luck it's not going to oh guys what am i gonna do i just want some rocks in my life i want to find chester i want to build some farms i want to get a real good sustainable life going here because i'm gonna be stuck here otherwise doing fuck all because i can't find rocks and <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. Guys, I can actually do the game. Oh, fucking hell. You know what, I was literally... The... <laughs> the, the gamer that I am, I was about to give up on this game and start again because I wouldn't have had any gold. And now I've found some. Okay, I'm really happy. Brilliant. It is about to get dark, but I'm just going to mine this. It wasn't a lot here. I will admit that. But it is enough for me to get a science machine. And, yes, I know. Fuck off. And a campfire. And I can start building my base. <laughs> okay, right. What I'm going to do. Go away just going to go and no I'm not doing that I'm not finding the elephant right now there we go bro oh my god you guys you well oh one of my subscribers who even watched this must be sitting there thinking this girl's fucking weird for getting creeped out by not finding any rocks and getting a bit weird when she did well, you know what, guys? Rocks are my thing. I love rocks, especially the ones with the gold in them. They make me super hot. And if you can't accept that from me, then... You're just some thief! Okay, I'm gonna stop now. This is getting a bit creepy. So, anyway, it wasn't it wasn't a massive patch, but I think if I carry on that away, I will probably find more. But... I'm going to set my camp up somewhere around here because there's lots of rabbit holes. And like I keep saying, when it gets to winter, that'll be really, really useful. So I'm going to do that. Oh my god, I'm actually really excited now. 
So everything's looking good. And um, because I am the mad scientist who grows the magnificent beard, I have really good sanity, which is great. Um, so I think these are 150 a piece, but this one, I assume, I don't know really, it looks like maybe 170, which is 20 more, which is really, really good. And I don't think anybody else has this, maybe apart from Mrs. Um, is it Wickerbottom, the librarian? Um, oh, fuck off. No. We were just getting somewhere. You can't rain. Do you know what? This is bullshit. I'm going to go make my base and cheer myself up and build myself a rucksack. It's so annoying. I was playing with one of my friends and you know you get the, um, well, maybe you don't know. You get the cute little gifts um, that they give you every once in a while. Cute little gifts that they give you once in a while when you've been um, playing, don't start together for a while. And they got the cutest backpack in the world. And I've been trying to find it on the marketplace and I can't find it anywhere and it makes me really sad. But it's a tall bird backpack. If you haven't seen a tall bird, they're basically blobs on sticks like a blob of eye, like an eyeball on a stick. And I know that sounds really gross. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Actually, you know what? This would be really useful. Nope, I'm staying. This would be really useful. I need, I could, I, I could get some, nope, no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 I'll come back. Okay, no, 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 sorry, sorry. No, I'm, I'm gonna come back for that because I haven't got any space. Um, anyway, with the tall birds, um, it sounds really gross what I'm describing. It's basically a ball of an eyeball on two, two legs. And it sounds gross, but it's actually the cutest thing ever. It's so adorable. It's really cute. And they got a little backpack of a tall bird. And I'm so jealous. And I really want it. And I've been trying to find it. And I can't find it anywhere. It's really sad. Oh, but um, hopefully if I play Don't Starve together again with some of my friends, I'll be able to find it. But who knows? Anyway, I'm going... Oh, shh. Shit, my dark man. Seriously, this is bullshit. I just want to build a fire. Oh, I just want to. Oh, God. I'm not usually this bad at games. I think it's because I'm nervous because I've got an audience. Or one of you of my audience. And I'm just doing really bad. It's fine, okay? We are going to eventually. Can I build this now? Can I build this now? Yes. So I'm now going to build a fire and then I'm going to build my, I'm going to build it right here. It's going to, I'm going to have a whole system going here. It's going to build right here and then I'm going to build my son. Oh, shit, I'm kidding. Oh, right. And then I'm going to get some wood and then I'm going to build my science machine and then I'm going to build my backpack and then a chest. And then, if I'm feeling in the mood, I'm going to make a farm. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? This is probably like the worst game I've ever had in my life. No, it's fine. We're going to come back from this, guys. We're going to come back. It's okay. Right, so I'm just going to chop down a bunch of wood now. Because I'm going to need a bunch for the... Um, you know what? I'm getting sick of not being able to... Uh, no, right. Okay, here, here is the game plan. I'm trying to do too many things at once. First of all, stop. Science machine. Yep, we got all that. So we're going to put this right here in our little hovel. <gasps> oh, so good. And now we're going to build a... Oh gosh, of course you can't... Can you get the stuff that you... Because I do have another backpack alternative. I'm guessing you can't get it when you play it on your own. That's really sad. But now I have a backpack. And um, what else can I do? Um, I suppose I should probably build a spear. That's always very useful. Brilliant. Um, shovel is always useful as well. Cool. And what do I need for an improved farm? Oh god, I need an alchemy machine. Oh, it's just, it's just very stressful. It's fine. Um. Why don't we have a look at s building a chest first? I think that's a good idea. Okay, so chest first. So we can... Ooh. 
Yeah, you'll feel this a lot when I'm gaming. I really have no structure at all and I will find random things to do at any given time without kind of thinking about what I was last thinking about. So yeah, but what I'm going to do is find a bunch of wood to get this chest because I have lots of crap that I shouldn't be carrying around with me. So first and foremost, let's move up um, and pick up these pine cones because otherwise if I don't plant them, I run the risk of, you know, let's just dig up everything. But what we're going to do eventually, and we can start doing it now, is we're going to move everything towards the camp. Because then, once winter comes, we won't need to go very far to find things, which is grill. So, I'm going to do that. Um, I won't dig these up yet, just because I haven't got a whole lot of poop. And once you dig them up and replant them, you need to fertilise them. And I want to get some farms done first, so I don't want to waste my poop. But yeah, brill. So that makes, I think you need four, eight, twelve pieces of wood for a chest. So let's just chop down some more trees. This is when Woody would become in handy. Woody is fantastic at chopping down trees because he comes with a non kind of oh good lord um a non kind of i did not want to do that i did not want to do that ah oh, it you know what i <laughs> i don't know what's happening but i'm doing really shit anyway let's forget that happened um woody comes with his own axe which is oh did i build this one And basically, it doesn't ever wear down, and you can chop really, really fast with it, which is really good. But I think there's kind of a level, like a um, meter, that you need to look out for, because if it runs too high, he actually turns into a beaver. That um, is actually really cool, because he can literally just kill anything that's beaver, but then once um, Woody wakes up from being a beaver, his... Oh, shh. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit carried away. Um, but once he actually wakes up from being a beaver, his health and sanity is, like, way, way low. So you need to be really, really careful with that. But it is really good because he, he obviously will never have to build an axe because he'll always have one. So whilst I'm cutting down all these trees, which I actually now have enough for, which is awesome, but I just I need to be near the science machine to make this... Um, but that's kind of all Woody's good for, just with having the dribble axe. I mean, at least with Wilson, um, he's the, like the first character of the game. He is on the like the main menu. He's basically the face of the game. The good thing about Woody is just obviously his intelligence, because his sanity will rarely get. Oh wow, it's even higher than I thought it was. So it's probably about two hundred. I'm guessing two hundred sanity. And that's really good. I mean, I really like Wi Willow. Is probably one of my favourites because she's a bit creepy and is obsessed with fire. So whenever she's actually really close to the fire like this, her sanity goes up, which is pretty awesome. Um, but like I say, I wanted to try Wilson first, and then maybe if we really enjoy doing these Don't Starve series, I can just go through the characters one by one. But um, the problem with Steam and games in particular, when you're a hardcore gamer like I am. You will spot any cheap game that is in the sale and you will buy it because it's so cheap and you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to play this. But then you'll never actually play it. You're just like, oh, I've just bought it just so it's there. So I have about 100 games in my library that I've probably never played that I bought really cheap because I just could. Um, Sorry, I literally lost my train of thought. So it's literally so stupid. But anyway, I'm hoping that will change now that... um. Now that I have a YouTube channel, because that's kind of why I bought one. So I was like, I want to have an excuse to play all these games whilst doing something productive with it. Because that's what happens when you get to my age. You start thinking about things that you should be doing that are productive rather than things for fun. Which is sad. I, I turned 24 yesterday. Well, 
I'll be uploading this on Tuesday. I'm playing this on Saturday, so I turn 24 on Friday. Um, and to me, that's super old, and I'm kind of having a bit of a midlife crisis, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have a chest now. Fabulous stuff. I'm gonna put this ring thing in here because we don't need that right now. Um, this gold can go in here for now, and everything else can stay. And I'm gonna plant these. I'm gonna create a little farm area because eventually I will kind of dig all this up and maybe put dirt down so it's more farmy. And these you don't need to fertilize. These will just grow, which is brilliant. Um. You know what I will do? I'm going to go back and grab those all of them. You remember when that forest was on fire? I'm just going to go back and grab all of the charcoal, which would have inevitably dropped when that fire went. So I can build a crock pot. So basically with a crock pot, um, when you eventually get to the um, situation where you're able to catch rabbits in your traps, Oh my god, look at all this. Um, when you're able to catch rabbits in the traps, you can get a crock pot and you can use four ingredients. There's actually really nice kind of ingredient guides online, which you can make cool meals with. But anyway, if you have any four ingredients, you can use like rabbit meat and you can make meatballs, which is one of the most common ones. Or if you've got kind of frog's legs from the ponds, you can make like a frog leg sandwich, which is kind of gross, but what you do in this game. I mean, I'm vegetarian, so I don't actually eat meat, but I guess when you're in this sort of scenario, you don't really have a choice, so I'm just going to do one more, and then I'm going to go back, because I really don't need this much charcoal, but it's always really useful. There we go. So, I'm going to get building my alchemy machine soon, because I don't think you can build the crock pot without it. So let's do that. And I think also... I needed one more gold that I haven't been able to find. I mean, that's the only bit of rock that I've seen. I don't think there's any more up there apart from this one, which won't have gold in, which is fine. I mean, at least we have a source of... Well, at least we found some rock, so we were able to do something with the game. I mean, it's day five, and I haven't got that much going for me at the moment, but I'm sure that will change. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, we will die very, very quickly. But I think if I keep following that path, and um, because sometimes in the game they'll have a little tiny patch of the rocks, and then they'll lead to the bigger patch of rocks. So I'm really hoping that happens. For now, I'm just going to do all this because I need the planks for the alchemy machine. And logs are always useful if you're super forgetful like me and forget when it's about to turn dark and essentially it's completely dark and you haven't built a fire and then you die, which is what I've done. Many times, I don't recommend doing it, especially when you're wanting to make a YouTube series. But hey guys, we found rocks, what, yesterday? And it's now day five. So I would say we have done very well so far in surviving. And I wonder if we have caught any... <gasps> Yay! I mean, I really don't condone this. Like I say, I'm vegetarian, I really don't condone this, but... I'm very happy to see a rabbit which I can now murder. <clears throat> oh wow, I've done very well with the trap. See, this is this was a really good place to set up camp because I've got loads of meat now. And I was, you know, I haven't been very successful in finding food, obviously. So at least this way, I will always have kind of a source. I mean, the great thing about rabbits is that for some reason they never die out. Which is something that probably wouldn't happen in real life. I think if you keep eating all the rabbits, they would eventually become extinct in this area. But they just keep coming back, which is awesome. Unless, of course, you dig up these holes, in which case the rabbits then become extinct through that. Because they have no home. But I'm going to pick up all of this poop as well. I should really put the poop back in the chest. Oh yeah, you re oh, I should have checked. So these guys um, sometimes have red butts, um, and when they have red butts, you're near to stay away from them because that is mating season and they will go after you. So they are usually very calm animals um, in this game, but 
if they have red butts, they will literally try and kill you and murder you, so you need to be really careful with that. Anyway, literally babbling. So, I have 10 bits of poop, so I can make one improved farm. I want to make an improved farm because they're a lot better because they grow seeds faster and I can make one but I need an alchemy machine luckily I did loads of this today so I'm just gonna double check what an alchemy machine needs okay so I'm just gonna make some cut stone because that's what I need and you need some of this and I need to make sure I save enough to make a fire because that's something I do which is I'm going to take a risk and leave one piece of wood. If I get really stuck, I'll put some of these on because that's a bit of a waste. Um, I won't put the log on yet. So I'm going to need to put, chop down maybe a couple more trees. Um, then I'll go on the hunt for some rocks tomorrow. And hopefully one's for golden because I need one more gold. Unless I unless I dig up some of the graves we found oh shit I keep doing this I keep doing this um some of the graves we found near the pig king we could potentially use over here because if we dig up any rubies and sapphires like I said last episode we can actually give it to the pig king who can give us gold in return so maybe that's something to consider anyway I'm gonna leave it um here hope you enjoyed my babbling it was interesting this time around i really keep I kept losing my train of thought but yeah it's absolutely fine so yeah thanks for watching and hopefully see you next week bye